Last time on Field Trip Friday, Scooby and I got a short introduction to Alpena High School's CTE program. It helps to benefit the students' futures and we got to experience exactly what it has to offer. First we went welding, then rotated tires, and saw how students apply geometry to construction. So now we continue our field trip with the business classroom. So just like a lot of the other CT classrooms and labs we've been to throughout the day, uh, this business classroom is once again kind of one that we were able to revamp and uh, reinvent this year for students to uh, get the most out of their learning experience here. We're starting our business component um, next week and so what we are, I'm teaching them starting next week is that they are going to do the resume. Um, we're going to go through, I talked to a couple of our local businesses and they're letting us actually fill out applications online. Wow. Um, we're going to do cover letters, we're going to do letterheads, we're going to do business cards. So we are doing the whole simulation um, starting on Monday of what it is to do the paperwork and all the digital fingerprint that the business would leave out there. We moved on to our next class which required another outfit change, health class. There's a lot of interest in the health field because of job opportunities. That's why Alpena's healthcare class gives students a wide range of opportunities. We teach a lot of things. Um, we do a nurse, certif nurse aid certification program so students can um, test for that and have that so right when they come out of school they can work and they're making 11 to $12 an hour to start. Um, so that's a good career for them to do for, um, some of them just will stay at that career. Some will use it as patient care hours because if they want to do advanced practice to get into physical therapy or med school, they need so many patient care hours. So why not get paid for it instead of just volunteer? So we have some new beds and some new mannequins with us this year that we can um, do different skills on, different transfers, bathing and things like that. So this is our practice arm so that we can see, we can set it and so we can see exactly what it is. So this is kind of the first thing that we'll have kids do to practice so they can practice feeling that. So just like on, you would do on a person, you take the first two fingers and if you take the tall finger and you put it right on the bone and just drop it over, you'll find the pulse like 90% of the time. So see if you can okay. find the pulse. This thing has a pulse? It does have a pulse, yes. This has a pulse. Yes. <laughs> Did you find it? Yeah. I found something on my index finger. Yes. Yeah, but you usually feel it? Yep. Um, <laughs> students have said that's very beneficial for them. Once they get to college, the anatomy, um, they've heard a lot of the things before, so it makes it easier for them to yeah. understand. Mm -hmm. Right. Moving on through the CTE program, our next stop really made Alpena High seem like a college. Can you believe that these students get to operate their school store like a business? And the students are involved in DECA. DECA is a like an acronym for Distributed Education Clubs of America. And in DECA you um, study a certain event, which my event was marketing communications. How do you feel about the program on, on itself? Um, I love it. I think it's a really good experience to help you when you are, like say you want to go into business and you want you are in the business, then you can use that information that you learned in high school to help you either in college or like in your actual job in the future. Even though it was a cold day in Alpena, we had to head over to the greenhouse just to see what was going on. Man, these kids put us to work right away and had us plant some maple seeds. So what, um, what, what do you have planned for school? Is this gonna be something that you major in specifically or do you just get right into the um, career of it? Well, I'm in the early college program, so what I'm planning on is going into business. Because then if I want to do the goat farm and stuff, I'll have that degree so that if it didn't work out, I have that that I can lean on afterward. Mm -hmm. You kids are so smart. Some of these students really are the future farmers of America. They've been focusing on this specific field since freshman year. So students that are involved in the agroscience program uh, can also be involved in the FFA or Future Farmers of America organization or club. Um, the greenhouse that we're standing in was erected three years ago. And as you know, Jillian said, has really given students an opportunity to come out here and explore hydroponics and uh, look at you know scientific trials and things like that within um, growing and seeding and things like that with the class that's here at the high school. But it was amazing to see that all of these classes are happening right here in Alpena. If you're a student at Alpena High School, I suggest you take advantage of these classes and enjoy them. Well, today was definitely a fun day. 
and it was nice to see all the opportunities these kids have here with the CTE program. Think about how impressive it is. They get to learn this freshman year of high school versus freshman year of college. And to be honest with you, we were here for one day. We learned so much. Yeah, seriously. And imagine if you actually came here every day. <laughs> I know that their motto is start here, go anywhere. So be sure to join us next week for our next adventure. See you then.